Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff from Updated and today we have the next beta of this iOS 15 experience and that is iOS 15 Developer Beta 6. So let's go ahead, get it loaded up on our personal test device and see what's new in this new beta version. Okay, so now that we are on the sixth developer beta and also nearing the final release date for iOS 15, we are going to start seeing fewer features, fewer new features, but also a uh, much more smooth experience using the iOS 15 beta. So uh, to recap my personal experience using beta five, uh, things were actually really smooth and for the most part, really bug free. I also noticed that battery life seemed to be a little bit better in our testing and also when actually using the phone on a daily basis. So um, that's very good news there. Now, one of the things that I noticed was still an issue was the SharePlay feature would uh, sometimes lag and freeze and the AirPlay to HomePods feature um, was not working as, uh, as intended. So with SharePlay, my screen recording would just freeze up for maybe five to 10 seconds and then uh, restart working uh, normally. And then when using AirPlay to a HomePod device, there was a major issue that we've actually been experiencing uh, for like, I, since, I think since the first developer beta. And um, that was basically audio would be playing, but it wouldn't actually um, be kind of coming through on the HomePod device. And this is with the first generation AirPods and also uh, kind of like the second generation or HomePod mini device so um, just that connection was not being made and there was a problem specifically with uh, the Apple Music app and also Spotify as well. Now, interestingly, uh, YouTube works uh, using AirPlay no matter what. So maybe this is just an issue uh, with playing audio um, through those specific apps. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, as of beta six, that issue is not fixed whatsoever. So um, hopefully that issue um, is fixed in the upcoming betas as we do have the final release uh, kind of coming very soon here. So hopefully that feature um, is kind of shored up before then. So guys, with that sort of brief description about how the beta experience has been using beta five specifically, let's go ahead and take a look at the new features we found in beta six. Okay, so here we have iOS 15 beta six loaded up on our device. And if we go into uh, the general menu and then to about, we actually will see a new build number here. That is 19A5325F. If we go a little bit farther down into this menu, you'll also see that we have new modem firmware. That is 2.09.10. So those are uh, the two items that are new in uh, the settings app in the about screen specifically for this beta. But let's also check out uh, some other things that are new within this beta version. Very, very small changes, um, but also some that are very significant. Now, if we go into Safari, we actually have a brand new uh, kind of way we can interact with tabs. So um, at the bottom here, we actually have a new uh, kind of a status bar or toolbar here. Um, everything used to be in this little uh, toolbar here and it used to uh, disappear with all of that. But now Apple's added uh, kind of like a bottom menu here so that you don't have to access all these controls in that one tab bar. So you have um, the forward and back buttons there on the left. You have the share button in the middle, the uh, bookmark, reading, and history viewer on uh, to the right of that share button, and then obviously this tab viewer here that uh, displays all the tabs in this kind of like grid view. Now what's really cool is here, obviously you can see we have three tabs. I can actually swipe in between these tabs um, just like I would through like the home screen or uh, when multitasking. It's actually really cool. Obviously I can multitask by swiping at the bottom here and I can do just the same in the Safari view as well. So this is actually a really cool way we can interact with tabs specifically and something that I really enjoy here with this new look to Safari. Now at the bottom here, we obviously have our share tab um, and you are, you are probably familiar with that. We have our um, kind of re refresh button that was really small before that's a lot bigger here and something that I was looking for in the next couple of betas um, to be uh, worked on. And then we have the, um, the kind of like uh, settings and everything like that for website tracking um, this information on the le left here. Now, as you can see, when we are in that menu, we actually have something really cool here, something that you can change from uh, this kind of like double A menu is what I call it. So if you want to uh, have the uh, address bar at the top, 
I can go ahead and do that. And this actually restores the previous view that we had before in iOS uh, 14. Now, I personally don't like this view. I like being able to um, edit the address bar and make changes all at the bottom. So I can actually go back to this and set everything to the bottom tab bar and have everything operate down here. Now, another way you can actually change this is going into the settings app, go all the way down to Safari, and you can actually change the tab view here as well. So I can go to the single tab up at the top or have the tab bar where I can actually swipe through the tabs there at the bottom. So you actually have that choice in uh, this menu here and then also the settings app as well under the Safari menu. Now, something else that I noticed uh, specifically with Safari, um, let's go ahead and get out of that. If you want to go to um, the uh, bookmarks, reading, and um, history menu, you can actually see that at the bottom, it doesn't take up the entire screen here. So I can sweep, swipe between um, all of these uh, different menus there, and it's actually very accessible using only one hand. So when your phone is in your hand, you also um, you know, have to think, how can I have everything most accessible when everything is in just one hand? And Apple has done a, a really great job at moving everything towards the bottom so you can access everything with one hand. And uh, this menu is just another example of how uh, good of a job they're doing just because it's very compact and towards the bottom half of the phone so your thumb can actually reach everything in these menus at the bottom there. Now, something I noticed specifically with the Files app is when you go to the Browse menu specifically, um, these menus has actually gotten a little bit smaller and more compact. Um, so that's really cool. Just to kind of display more information here, I know with my personal device, um, I have a lot going on in this menu and having it a little bit more compact is really nice, but that is just a very small change within the Files app. And for those of you who use the Files app, you'll notice, but obviously for those of you who don't uh, really use the Files app, you probably won't notice this so um, it's not really that big of a deal but for me personally I do like Apple kind of uh, making things a little bit more compact and having more information uh, in this available screen real estate that I have here on this iPhone 12 Pro and also my personal device the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, one other really, really small change, it's very um, kind of almost insignificant here, but I just wanna show you guys, if you go into the focus menu, um, previously these row, this row of icons there on the left-hand side was uh, kind of more pushed to the left side. Now they are more centered, so it just looks a little bit more uniform. Again, a very, very small change, but just wanted to point that out to you guys. But uh, when going throughout um, the, the kind of like what's new in beta six, I'd say that Apple has worked the most on this kind of like Safari experience and actually making this uh, kind of like, I would say the final version of what you're gonna see for Safari in the official release of iOS 15. So I don't expect any other major changes, but um, this kind of like tab view where you can switch between tabs is actually really handy because I switch between tabs quite a bit. And uh, of course you can also access that tab viewer as well should you want to switch tabs. But I'd say the improvements made to the Safari app are kind of like the highlight of beta six here and what's new. Okay, so that was what was new in beta six specifically, and now it's time to briefly discuss our next releases for the next couple of betas. And as I've said before, now that we are dealing with fewer new features being added these days, the releases will be a lot more consistent and most likely weekly, if not bi-weekly. Now, the one thing that we should all be focusing on is actually the final release as Apple will likely be announcing the next generation of iPhones very, very soon, which will be shipping with iOS 15 installed. So when exactly is that? Well, we have yet to hear anything solid these days, but typically in September or early October, we get a lot more news um, on new products and launches. But what you should expect is iOS 15.1 betas being released in the next few weeks, as that has been a tradition for the past few years. Typically, Apple takes the original beta version of a new iOS version and gets it all ready for the official release of a new product. And then in the background, start working on the next major update uh, with bug fixes, new features, and also improvements made to the performance for the newer devices being released that year. So stay tuned for more news on all of this as we eagerly await what we'll be seeing in the next few weeks here, but do expect an iOS 15.1 beta coming very, very soon. I would not be surprised. 
So guys, that was what was new in iOS 15 beta 6 and all of what you need to know about this specific release. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section down below. Or if you have any further information you want to add, you can mention it down in the comment section as well. Now, if any of you wanted to hop onto the developer or public betas, there's a link in the video description with information on how to access both of those beta uh, programs. That link is solo.to slash updated. And of course, if you need any help with that specific process or anything else, you can always reach out in the comment section or on Twitter as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week. That podcast is called The Infinite Loop, and we talk about everything going on in the world of tech. Also, we have links to our giveaways sponsored by awesome companies like Provado VPN, so definitely check those out as well. We'll have a new one every single month. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.